So when George Floyd uh, murder occurred, I assume since you have a fair number of African-American employees who are yep. no doubt particularly upset about that. Yep. Did you feel a need to make a response about that? Or how does McDonald's deal with public issues? In the case of, of George Floyd, we did speak out and condemn his murder. We also spoke out in support of, of Black Lives Matter. I think, you know, we have for a long time, our philosophy as an organization, as a company was, uh, don't say anything, basically. Um, I think what has changed is certainly the society that we all operate as corporations these days, where whether it's employees or customers, the expectation is I want to know what you stand for. You know, there is an art and a science to this, but I think by and large, I feel good about where we've spoken out, and I also feel good about where we've chosen not to speak out. Do you think companies should be more active in speaking out publicly on public policy issues or you think it's not appropriate generally? I really think that the bar should be very high uh, when you speak out. I, I don't think by and large that it is appropriate for companies to be speaking out, but I think there are certain situations, George Floyd being one, the capital attacks on January 6th being another, where uh, it was important for corporations to speak out and McDonald's certainly made its voice known. Now the business roundtable has said a couple years ago, don't worry only about shareholders. You have responsibility to your community, your employees, customers, and so forth. Do you share that view? I do share that view. I, I think part of it is because that's the expectation of our customers. Our customers want to see that McDonald's is being a responsible corporation. And in many places, this becomes a license to operate. The more that we are seen as doing the right things and clear about our values, it ultimately, we believe, benefits the brand and that ultimately benefits the business.